Oh no. It wasn't the airplanes. It was... Oh no. It wasn't the airplanes. It was guilt killed the beast. He knows what he did. Hey Sam, our printer's broken. Whenever I try and print anything, all that happens is it plays a whole bunch of Bob Marley and I get a message that says the paper's jamming. <laughs> Oh no, it wasn't the airplanes, it was bear planes killed the beast. We ran a poll asking you which flower you most like to make friends with. It was neck and neck the whole way, although Orchid won out right at the end. You picked wisely because your other popular option, which was the aconitum, is so toxic that it's used to coat arrows when hunting bear and, in some cases, wild. Holy cow! of the sea. Oh, no, it wasn't the airplanes. It was failing to look both ways before crossing the road killed the beast. Projection is a shadow puppet adventure where you get to control the light and just go around exploring and seeing different cultures, different places. Do you want to add to that? Yeah, no, um, so it's uh, basically going through a tale of all the different popular cultures in Indonesia, China, Turkey and England. Well, I would have to say, oh, it's a bit hard to toss up. The mechanics are pretty cool, but um, I'm really a huge fan of the fact that it's uh, based on shadow puppets and, you know, no bias here whatsoever. But, um, you know, because I'm Indonesian, so I get to kind of chase my cultural heritage with Indonesian shadow puppets. But there's also Chinese and different ones as well. Um, but yeah, that would be my favourite. Uh, for me, because also for no bias, um, it's the mechanics, being able to organically move a light around and think about new ways that you can walk around, explore different areas using shadows. Yeah, um, and again, props to the arts as well. <laughs> Thank you. So you can go to, we've got a Twitter account, at ShadowPlaySTD, which is not the greatest acronym, but, or you can go hashtag projection game on Twitter, or you can check out shadowplaystudios.com. So Bounce House is a game about bouncing children off a bouncy castle. You can feel, ful fulfill all of your dreams just to go on there, go on a rampage, send them skyward, and collect candy from us. Just really easy. Well, actually, the game is really hard, but uh, yeah, give it a crack. Yes. I would say, uh, for me personally, just the opportunity to be able to make something really lighthearted and entertaining and ridiculous. Like being able to sneak in all of the uh, crazy, absurd kind of characters that I wanted to was definitely my highlight personally. It's out now on the iOS uh, App Store and Google Play. So it's free to download, get in there and check it out. Yeah, I'm the game designer, so I've been heavily involved in both of them. So that is definitely, you can blame me for these. Uh, the heart and soul of both of these games is that they are uh, super customizable. Every single thing about the game can be changed, but we also build an amazingly awesome, really fast multiplayer experience to begin with that then you can start customizing on. Awesome. So Party Golf was first. We made Party Golf originally for Steam and PS4 but we came out on Switch just last week, so it, uh, we were super excited to the uh, appeal of that game on Switch, it's been great. Uh, I remember that, I remember the launch. Yes. Yeah. yeah, Yeah. it's super, super fun. Um, so in Party Golf, you, uh, you've taken all the rules of golf, kind of thrown them away. It's first person to the hole, you get in there as fast as you can, you knock each other out of the way. Uh, super fast play, you don't have to wait for your ball to stop rolling. Super combat, fast, round pace golf. Awesome, it takes all of the things I hate about golf and chucks them out. That's right, it's not, it's not a slow walk anymore. What about party crashes? 
So Party Crashes is taking the idea of super fast racing and turning that into uh, round based play, very much like super old Micro Machines games, if you ever heard of that. Oh, yeah. Uh, and uh, so it's the last car left alive wins. Uh, if you fall too far behind, uh, then you explode, but then you get to attack the other cars with crazy weapons from the sky. Neat. And we've added in that in customization thing, so you can race as banana cars or monster trucks or golf buggies. Uh, we've got procedurally generated levels. Nice. Uh, we've got uh, lots of levels in there already. We've got heaps of crazy weapons. My favourite is we have a cow catcher on the front of your car where you can just blast through everybody else and send them flying behind you. Party Crashes is on, going to be on Steam Early Access around about the 10th of November. Oh no, it wasn't the airplanes. It was inadequate healthcare infrastructure killed the beast.